Hi year one, hope you're all okay. As you can see, I'm in the classroom. Let me just show you around quickly. <laughs> hope you're all okay. Anyway, here we go with your maths lesson. This is your maths lesson week seven, lesson one. And you've guessed it, let's start with top mark. Today you're going to be a postman. So type into the search post sorting. And then I want you to try this one totals less than 20 and you're adding three numbers. So you can see the letters that need posting. And if you add the, all those numbers, they should belong in one of those post box. But be cheeky and sneaky, for instance, with this one, don't do one, add two, add eight. I can see a pair that make 10. Then add the one, 11, and post it. Have fun. Play a few times and keep your eye on that timer. Can you get quicker each time? Who's going to be the best postman? Now let's do some revision on our doubling and halving. Your first question is double three. If you don't know the answer, you can do three. Add three with your fingers. You know there's three here. Four, five, six. Let's see if we were right. Yay! So what's half of six? It must be three, mustn't it? You're just doing the opposite. There was your three, double three was six. So half of six is three. What's double five then? Five plus five, shout it out. Yay, and look, this matches it. Half of 10 must be five. What's double two? Yay. Double six. Now your halves. So get up eight fingers or eight cubes. What's half of eight? Or double what makes eight? Half of 14. Or double what gives you 14? And half of two. Easy peasy. Well done. Look who I found in the classroom. <laughs> Do you remember him? Well, he's like the spider. He's greedy. He likes big numbers, two digit numbers that have tens and ones in them. But he's also very lazy like the spider. He likes to do sums that are really easy. You don't really need to do any work to find the answer. So he likes this sort of number, 54. Look, there are two digits. There are tens and ones in the number. But how many tens and how many ones? Let's take a look. Let's use the place value tool. It's 50 and four, isn't it? Five tens and four ones. I can show you that using the tens and one P coins. Look, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Five turns, four ones. And you can see that that's a no work sum. You know that. You're just pushing the numbers together. 50 and four, 54. What would the no work addition sum be to make up 67? How many tens, how many units? It's 60 plus 7 makes 67, isn't it? Now he's written this sum. <laughs> Hello, 1km. What's the answer? It's a no work sum. 10 plus 7, 17. Did you get that? Now you need a partner to play a quick game. Let me show you how to play. So, our little friend is sort of a number, a two digit number, remember? He likes big numbers and it can't be a multiple of 10. 
Can you see what he's written? Now let's pretend I don't know what that number is. And I've got to ask questions to try and work out what the number is. So I could say something like, is it bigger than 50? No. I could say something like, does it have five tens? No. Can you see he's only allowed to answer yes or no? How about, does it have four tens? Yes. So I now know it's a number in the 40s, don't I? Does it have more than five units? No. So now I've narrowed it down. It can either be 41, 42, 43 or 44. I'm going to say, does it have three units? Yay! So now I know I've got exactly the right answer. You can only guess the number when you're absolutely sure it can't be anything else. So is it 43? Yay! <laughs> now you have a go. Take it in turns to write down a two-digit number and don't let your partner see. And the other person's got to ask questions like that. Remember, the answer can only be yes or no until you narrow it right down and get the right answer. Then we're on to page 30. Now look in your pack and you should find this sheet. It's actually meant for year two, but I think you're all clever enough to give this a go. Don't be shy, have a try. On the back, you've got this one. And then you've got some knights in shining armour. And sheet 15, you can have a go at some colouring in. If you want a little bit of extension, give this a go. Again, this is year two work. And you've got this on the back, working with three digit numbers. And that's it for today. See you tomorrow. Bye.